So, you decided to build a website. It's a smart move because even now, in 2023, building a digital presence for yourself or your business is a must. In this video, I'm excited to share my complete guide on how to build your first WordPress website, step by step. My name is Luke and I'm a web creator. And for more than 10 years, I've built hundreds of WordPress sites and trained thousands of people to build WordPress websites. From my experience in the field, I decided to create my ultimate guide, how to build a WordPress website without using code. Before we start building the site, I find it important to answer two questions that you might've already thought about. Why and how much? Why choose WordPress and how much will it cost me? First, why choose WordPress? Well, in 2023, there are lots of website building platforms. I'm sure you've been exposed to brands such as Wix, Squarespace, and Webflow. It's important that you know WordPress is the best and most professional platform for building a website. I'm not the only one who chose WordPress. In fact, 43% of all websites in the world, yes, yes, you heard me right, 43% of all the websites in the world chose WordPress. It's the ultimate operating system for websites. And that means you'll never be alone. WordPress is the professional choice, favored by the web creators, developers, and designers who built the internet. And the most important thing for me and them is the ability to gain full control over the website. This is the secret source of WordPress compared to other platforms. Okay, I explained the why, but how much will a WordPress site cost me? Wait, what does that mean? How much does a WordPress site cost me? Isn't WordPress free? You must have read this somewhere. The answer is no. A WordPress site costs money. Although the WordPress content management system or CMS is an open source product and available for free download, don't get confused by the word free. You will still have to pay for all the surrounding services like domain name, storage, hosting, templates, a page builder, plugins, and more. There really isn't a price for a website. It all depends on the type of website you want to build. In this guide, I'll show you how to build a basic WordPress website yourself at less than $200 per year. Your WordPress website consists of six components, domain name, hosting, the WordPress content management system, the theme, a website builder, then lastly, plugins. In WordPress's old world, you had to assemble these six components from countless different vendors, pay each vendor separately, install each component separately, and deal with all the incompatibilities and complications on your own. It's time to reveal the secret of the professionals, how to build a modern and professional WordPress website without complications and without headaches in 2023. The secret is called Elementor, the smoothest and most advanced way to build WordPress websites. The Elementor package includes Elementor hosting, Elementor hello theme, Elementor website builder, Elementor library, and Elementor AI. So let's see what's inside the website builder all in one of Elementor. Elementor hosting is a hosting plan for WordPress that comes with a managed installation of the WordPress CMS. The basic package for Elementor hosting for WordPress comes with 10 gigabytes of storage, 30 gigabytes of traffic volume, which is suitable for about 25,000 visitors per month, which is more than enough. Elementor hosting also guarantees a 99.9% .9 server uptime which is the average figure in the industry. Automatic updates for WordPress versions, a built-in SSL license for security, a caching system to improve performance, and automatic and manual backups for your website. But different from hosting companies that only sell you a hosting plan and leave you looking for solutions all alone, Elementor gives you the perfect solution. WordPress with a design kit, the Hello Elementor theme, and the Elementor Pro Page Builder plugin all pre-installed. Hello Elementor is a WordPress theme developed especially for Elementor websites, a clean and fast basic template without add-ons or unnecessary code, only what your website really needs. Elementor Website Builder, the Pro version. Elementor Website Builder is one of the most popular WordPress plugins of all time and is installed on more than 13 million websites it's available in dozens of languages and has received thousands of ratings from satisfied customers and users. Elementor Pro includes hundreds of features, and the best part about Elementor Pro is that the guys never stop innovating and improving it, 
and almost every month a new feature is added to add more and more capabilities to the system. With Elementor Website Builder, you've got everything you'll ever need. A drag and drop editor with more than 100 widgets, a theme builder, animations and advanced design capabilities, presentations, galleries, and carousels, a form builder with an interface for saving leads and built-in integration for advanced automation tools, built-in integration with the popular stores plugin WooCommerce, a marketing package that includes an interface for building landing pages and pop-ups. So you don't have to start from scratch. Elementor comes with hundreds of ready-made templates and design to help you start building anything you want, a full website, pages, landing pages, blocks, and pop-ups. And recently, Elementor also added Elementor AI, an artificial intelligence-based interface that will help you write code and generate images for your website. So every time you want to add text or an image, Elementor AI will help you write the content with ease and the convenience of Elementor. You can get all this goodness with one click, one license that starts at $120 per year. And after this long introduction, it's time to click the pink magic button and get started. I will first visit Elementor.com in my browser. Next, let's select the Get Started. Here I can choose what type of website I'd like to create. I like the look of this wireframe kit, so let's take a look and see what's inside by selecting the Preview Design option. This kit contains a homepage that uses a variety of layouts to highlight the services my company offers. It also contains an About page, a Services page, a Blog page, and a Contact page. This is a great foundation on which to build my first WordPress website. I will now select the Start with this design option at the top of this page. Next, we will be taken to a screen where we will be presented with the option to choose a site plan. I will select the Buy Now option. Once having completed my purchase, I am taken to the confirmation screen where I will select Start Creating Your Website. On the next screen, I will enter a temporary domain name for the website. I will verify my temporary domain name choice and select Next when ready. Elementor will then install WordPress and the kit I chose. OK, it looks like our website is ready to go. Before I take a look at my created website, Let's explore my Elementor account dashboard. I can first see the new website I've just created. Over on the left, I can see the navigation for the main areas of my account. In the top right hand corner, if I select my name, I'll be able to view and edit any of my profile information. Back to the websites now, if I hover over my website, you'll see I'm presented with several options. The first two options will redirect me to specific areas of the website admin. For now, I'll select Manage this website. The first area lets you connect a custom domain name. Next, email authentication settings. Next, I have site lock. I can see a list of backups that are taken daily automatically, and I can also create my own. Finally, I have debugging and troubleshooting options. OK, with the Elementor dashboard fully explored, I will log into my WordPress dashboard and teach you how to use it. I'll select Open WP Dashboard as I'm first going to teach you about WordPress, here I am on the WordPress dashboard. In the top left corner, if I hover over the site name, I can click on the link that appears and visit my website. I'm first taken to the home page, and as you can see, everything looks as expected, just as we saw earlier when we previewed this kit, back in the WordPress dashboard. In the bottom right is the Elementor help icon. At the top of the page, the WordPress toolbar offers links to the website's various areas. On the left hand side, you'll see the main menu options. This menu contains many important areas which include blog posts, media files, the pages of our website, elementor settings, templates associated with our website, appearances, which is where you'll find the themes and menu options, as well as plugins, website users, tools, and settings. We'll first explore pages. In the WordPress dashboard, I'll navigate to the Pages menu and select the All Pages option. Here I am presented with a list of all the pages currently associated with my website. Hovering over the page title displays several options. I can select the Edit with Elementor link or select More options to display a drop down of other useful functions. Adding a new page is done in a few simple steps. 
select the Add New button near the top of the page. Give the new page a name, then select the Publish button. It will ask me to confirm that I wish to publish the page. I'll confirm this action. There is no need to add any content to this page, as I'll be covering this in the next steps. Let's return to the dashboard. Now that you know a bit about pages, I'll talk more about posts and the archive page. From the dashboard menu, I'll visit the posts section. Several sample posts were included when we installed the kit, as you see here. By hovering over the top of one, I'll then be able to select the edit option. Once the post is loaded, I can now see the post in the WordPress block editor. It consists of widgets known as blocks. Let's update this post and return to the dashboard. To create a new post, I'll select the Add New option. When this is selected, it will open the WordPress editor. I will first give my post a title by selecting the Add Title headline and typing the name of my post. I'll then enter the excerpt in the Post Settings panel and upload an image to be my featured image. I can then write about the new project in the editor. Next, I'll click the Publish button and publish my post. I can view the post by selecting the link at the bottom. That looks great. You might be wondering if you can write posts with the Elementor editor. The answer is absolutely. If you wish to include more complex designs and interactive content, it is better to edit the posts using Elementor. Posts can be accessed in several ways on the website. A link from one of the pages, added to the menu, or by the archive page. In order for my new portfolio page to function as an archive, I must assign it in the WordPress dashboard. I do this by first navigating to the Settings menu, and then selecting the Reading option. From the Reading Options Settings page, near the top, I can use the drop-down menu to select my portfolio page as the post page, then save it. Now, I'll show you how the WordPress menu system works. Menus are important, as they provide a standardized method for visitors to navigate through the website. I will head over to the Appearance tab and select the Menus option. Here I can see the menu which was created for me when the kit was imported. I can rearrange the menus by selecting them and dragging them to the desired location. To add a new menu item, I can simply select it from the list here and choose Add to Menu. Then I click the Save button to publish the changes to the menu. So, let's now learn a bit about Elementor and how it's used with WordPress. In the WordPress dashboard, I'll head over to the Pages menu, hover over Home, and select Edit with Elementor. Let's take a look at each section in the editor. I have a Widgets panel, then I have the Canvas area. Everything you see here is editable. Simply select something, make a change. Pretty simple, right? And in the top left corner, if I select the burger icon, I can access additional areas of Elementor. Finally, at the bottom of the widget panel, I can access the page settings, open and close the navigator, view a history and any changes made to the page, open the responsive controls, preview the page live in the browser, and last but not least, the update button, which I'll use when I'm ready for the web page to go live. With Elementor, pages are built using containers. A container holds the other elements of your page, including widgets and other containers. In order to create a new container, I'll select the plus icon located in the canvas area. Here you can see many preset layout structures. It's within these containers that I'll add my widgets or additional containers to create columns. In Elementor, widgets are the building blocks of your website. You have nearly a hundred widgets to choose from. To add a widget, I simply drag and drop it inside a container, like this button widget. Each widget is made up of three areas, the Content tab, the Style tab, and the Advanced tab. The Content tab is where we configure our widget. In this instance, I have the button widget selected, so I'm able to configure aspects like the text which is displayed within the button, the link which the button navigates to, alignment, size, and more. Next, I have the Style tab, which allows us to do just that. I can amend typography, color, 
as well as adding things like borders and spacing. Then finally, I have the Advanced tab. This will likely look very similar for whichever widget you have selected and provides us with an extensive range of options. I can adjust spacing aspects, such as padding and margin, and so much more. Next, I'll drag a heading widget over into the canvas. The heading widget is edited in the widget panel, or it can be edited directly on the page. The HTML of the heading tag is used to assign the hierarchy structure. These are located in the HTML tag dropdown. Here, I can choose from a H1 to a H6, as well as other tags, such as a division, span, and paragraph. In the Style tab, I can adjust the size and the color of the heading, or use the global styles, which I'll teach you about shortly. I'll now drag a text editor widget to the canvas. The text editor is used for creating paragraphs of content for your website. This widget uses many of the same tools that you've used when writing an email, such as bold, italics, bullet points, and other common formatting options. I can edit the text as before. I can then customize it further in the Style tab. Lastly, I'll drag an image widget into the canvas. Images are important for your website as they can convey your message visually. Once the image has been placed, I can upload an image from my local computer to replace the default placeholder. Once I have added these, I can then click the Insert Media button. I can edit the display size and other options in the Style tab. Let's now remove this container till later on. By clicking within the container, I'll see a list of helpful options. The one I need here is delete. Okay, if this short introduction got your creative juices going, join me for the longer version of this video where we'll start building your WordPress website together. Click the link appearing now and I'll see you there real soon.